Now let's talk about career in banking. Banking offers most attractive career in Indian scenario. Out of different industries in ba India, banking industry is the most attractive for the youth for various reasons. First, it commands very high level of respect because people still compare banks with semi-government institutions and they believe that a bank manager is like a semi-government executive so they give him very high respect. They believe that a bank manager is working for the national interest, for the national priorities. Then packages. Banks today are offering very attractive packages and their pay packages are revised periodically. And they also offer various services, offer attractive facilities to the employees. So in that way, the banking services are very attractive. Then uh, banking services offer a very systematic working. If you have worked as banker, your life becomes very, very regulated, very systematic. Because being in banking industry where you have to deal with money, you have to be very highly systematic, very accurate and uh, very punctual and very methodic, uh, uh, very, very systematic. And this, you know, helps people in improving their life also. So banking, career in banking helps you in developing your life. Then modern banking is very technology savvy, very lucrative. And uh, we can uh, say it's very attractive. You see modern banks, they are, uh, they are having very beautiful offices, well furnished setup and uh, very well structured services and they provide very customer oriented uh, services and so people are appreciative of banks, they are satisfied with banks, they give you know, uh, respect to the banking executives for the services that the bank officers up provide. So in a way, banking is a very attractive sector for the youth. In banking sector, we have large number of openings also. Both in public sector and private sector, there is growth. And because of the growth, they are recruiting people to meet the growth. They are opening new branches and they are expanding the existing branches and therefore they require manpower. And there is another issue. The banking has changed considerably in the last two decades. Earlier it was all manual and today it is all technology, computers based. So banks require technology savvy employees. Those employees who are comfortable working on computers, those employees who understand latest technologies and those employees who can adapt themselves with changing technology. So banks today require younger staff. Many public sector banks introduced VRS scheme, voluntary retirement scheme, so that they could do away with their old employees and they could hire fresh employees who are technology savvy so that the bank could introduce latest technologies the bank could change themselves faster and you can see this very clearly visible in many banks take for example Yuko Bank it after VRS it has become very very youth oriented bank it is now changing it is now trying to evolve itself as very technology savvy modern bank. So you, if you are energetic, learning oriented, dynamic, technology savvy and you wish to continuously evolve yourself, develop yourself and you wish to enter into very glamorized sector of financial services, the banking is the first choice for you. You can prepare for the banks and enter the banking services. And the recruitment in banks is comparatively very, very objective. 
Public sector banks organize a recruitment test which consists of a written test of English quantitative aptitude like basic mathematics, reasoning, general awareness. So you have to attempt these questions, objective questions. If you are able to score very well, you can be selected. For uh, professionally officers, they will take their interview. An interview, they will ask you questions on latest economic scenario, latest uh, general awareness questions, your understanding of banking and your career orientation. And through a very objective process, you can enter the banking sector. In private sector banks, you can apply online on their website and uh, submit your resume. And whenever they have a vacancy, they can call you up, they can take your interview and if they find that you are really a very technology savvy person, you are a customer oriented person, you are a very dynamic person and you have an excellent image, you are very, you have excellent soft skills, then you would be selected and they will pick you up. If you are an uh, MBA or uh, a BBA or uh, a business graduate, you will be given preference because you will be able to match the requirements of banking industry faster. Banking is a very dynamic career and offers very lucrative opportunities for people. You can uh, very quickly rise in banking industry. You can get promotions if you are able to perform well and uh, if you are able to you know have good relations with your customers if you are able to offer good services prompt services if you are able to manage your working well then you can easily rise in banks public sector banks offer regular promotions and in private sector they look into your performance how much business you can generate if you can generate more business you can definitely rise faster so, best wishes for a career in banking.